Good morning guys, welcome back to today's video. Today, Sam is working in the kitchen. So he made bread. This is his idea of bread. He that used a new mixer. To be a French. This is a French loaf, you but, can tell by the skinny. But the problem was uh, the pizza, the pizza stone was too short. Oh, you cooked it on a pizza stone? Yeah, I cook it on a pizza stone. Oh, I cook everything on a pizza stone. I love it. I can't wait to eat it. This is what we're having for lunch. Good job, Sam. Still needs to cool. Still have 24 eggs in the incubator. And over here, Sophie is still getting ready for spring break. I hate it. I have too many horses, so I can't choose. I have no more room. Poor baby. <laughs> Give us a rundown on Sophie's future farm. Oh. Oh, hold on. Wow, they're packed in, Sophie. Look at how many horses she's got. Two, two babies. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, two, one, twenty two. But look at do you see that? More in this bag. Do you see that little honey foal over there peeking her head? That's adorable. Oh, yeah. Super cute. That totally looks like honey. I can't I can't wait till honey sheds. Um, there's more horses than that. She also has all, of, she has way more in her room, but she went up yeah, there. Yeah, I searched through it all, and I came home with, I came back with a bucket filled with all this stuff. Yeah, so she. I forgot about this guy. She went looking for all her jumps. She has a lot of jumps. She has a lot of cool jumps. In fact, we should try and mimic these That's jumps. That's a jump. Yeah, I love them. And then their poles. She's got sacks of grain. grain. She's got. A goat. She's got a goat. She's got apples, really you name cool. it, she's got it. Somebody gave us that, that has another foal. This or this has a horse and it's yeah. a nursing, is that the one? Is that the match for it? Yeah. And it nurses, isn't that adorable? Like Wait. how genius is that? Hold on. You can see, it's a nursing foal. There's my little shadow. Also, this little pony is cute. Oh yeah, it goes with him. And this is actually a honey look-alike because I think honey's gonna have that faint white marking on her forehead. This is the dad. That's the dad. All right, so um, show us quick. Show us your three favorite horses. Oh, um, Levi. So she's got Levi. Love him. So if he has a type. Um, this horse. Adorable. I forget his name. And then Chino. And Chino, her favorite horses. They're just this guy I've been looking for for so long, and he, there's one of him in Chestnut, which I'm trying to find, but I can only find this one. Beautiful. I'll show you my favorite. Of course, I like the one with the twin foals and the and the the nursing foal. You see the nursing foal? I love that one so much. My friend suggested to me the other day that I breed Penny. Penny's not getting any younger. She's like 17, which is perfect. Uh, but. It's only a matter of time until she's ready to retire. And so in theory, it would be such a good idea, especially because she's one of the old school Tennessee walking horses. Not trotty, she gates always, she can canter. Like there's just so much good about her. Especially if I found a really good stud that would complement that and bring back that that good quality breeding. But I'm not, I'm not ready for a foal. We've dealt with a lot of animal births through the years, through all of our fostering and our rescues and stuff, but I'm just not there, you guys. I couldn't handle the rearing of the foal or the training of the foal. Anyway. The birth I would not be scared of, but I would not want to raise up a full-sized horse. Okay, so the Dalmatian and then the baby Dalmatian. Adorable. So over here, we cleaned up this section of our homeschool room again, and we planted all of our plants. These are Gabby's. You can tell the difference. Can you guys tell the difference? I'll show you. These are Gabby's. These are Sophie's. Gabby would never have anything that was aesthetically unpleasing, and Sophie's more, more doesn't care and just puts them in as much as she can so she can squish as many in as she can. So those are our plants. Two out. I have another tray here. I'm just gonna go and get all my plants that I planted. I planted a bunch of them. And we're gonna have a happening garden this year. She left two out. Yeah, I know. Gabby. She did, and she forgot. She left a space for two, but that's okay. I'm gonna fill it. All right, so I'm not sure if somebody's <laughs> jealous. Your phone's upside down. I'm not sure, I'm not sure, but I think somebody's jealous. Why don't, it fell off. <laughs> it fell off. Hot Penny. 
We're both wearing black shirts. She loves being in the big field. She always watches this when we go down to the barn. I'm actually shocked that we have this much snow still because it's been not too cold here. So we saw somebody do this on TikTok, so obviously we're gonna do it. Go on. <laughs> I'll protect you, Sophie. Chino's lost so much muscle from being off. This is the first year, I told you guys a million times, that we've kept him off for the winter. And we've never done that before. And I hear like a lot of people saying, oh, I have to like build my horse back up before show season. And this will be the first time that we've had to really do that. Actually, maybe not. She doesn't like hugs. But he's lost so much muscle. I know, she doesn't like hugs. So, like I said to earlier, one of my friends was like, "Are you you should breed Penny. I just don't think she's super maternal. But I never thought that Gracie was maternal either. So, who knows? But Gracie and having everyone. a foal can change you for sure. And I love her to death. Like, I absolutely love her. I just... I'm not interested in, in breeding. I just think like raising a, a big horse that you can't even manage would be too much for me, for us. Comment down below what challenge we did in this shelter. Do you guys remember we did a challenge in this shelter? Do you guys remember when we built this shelter or had it built for us? I love <laughs> yeah, this shelter. Like, build it. Now it's full of hay and poop. Soon it'll be time to clean it out. Now that we started leaving the horses in the big field, the, the weather's warmer and it's longer days, Willow clearly is missing Penny. Oh, hi. Hi, Grace. Okay, so my friend sent me a picture today of a foal she's gonna buy, and the foal is four months old, and I swear to God, the foal looks older than honey. Sophie, I don't understand what's happening with this foal. Like, She's so tiny. How come she's so tiny? Okay. I like midgets. Gabby's I mean, midget. I like midgets too, but... Gabby's a midget. I mean, she's gained weight. I'm super excited to get out here and clean our fields. We haven't really cleaned them in the last couple of weeks. Why is there so much snow? Yeah, so Selfie's gonna do the same thing again with Honey and see if she lays down and rolls with her. Cause she's the one that sees us and lays down. Yeah, all right, hold on. So the TikTok that we saw was a lady or a girl laid down and was making snow angels and her big horse came and rolled beside her and it was adorable, absolutely adorable. But our horses are not into it. But look at how sweet she is. I love her too. Like, I can't believe how tiny she is. She's so tiny. Look at how cute she is. She reminds me so much of Ellie, her personality. Except for Ellie's more ferocious. Oh, like, yeah, she loves her girl. I gotta get up, I can't feel my butt. All right, let's go. I always go through this stage at the end of winter, every March. Oh, I We're, oh. I always go through this stage every, oh, she's gonna do it. Can't walk through the snow, can you? I can't either. I always go through this stage every March where I get spring fever and my spring fever is wanting to clean things up i want to get out here and get rid of all the junk she's just following her girl like honestly so excited sophie you got to play with her go get your treats and let's do train her to like stay out of your space look at how good she's staying staying sophie's been working on it Hi. sophie's been working on it <laughs> what is that <laughs> you're adorable Oh, so look at how white her look mane is. Me. Look at how cute she is. I honestly love this this mini so much. <laughs> we did it. Gabby was in here. She held the other horses in here because Sophie didn't want to lay down on the ground. And 
All right, let's see if we can do a little bit of what we were working on last week and see if they remember. But holy heck, you guys. This is how you can tell she's a year, maybe. Look how long her tail is. Her tail almost needs to be cut. Look at how cute and brushed. Look at all the hay in here. Sophie said that when she came down to do chores this morning, she was laying down. You are such a cute baby. I cannot wait to see her without her winter fur. She's so pretty. I think Gracie's beautiful too. Not because they're Palominos, but because they have like this, this really nice look about them. Like this really sleek, pretty hair, long hair. Look at how less pushy she is. Oh, you are adorable. Yes, you are. Look at how thick her fur is. You are so cute. Oh, I love it. They're using our bags. Well, how else am I supposed to carry treats? Yeah, that's I mean, good. Look at how good she's gotten. I feel like, uh, I feel like she's matured so much in like a week. So the puddle, the big puddle that was in our arena, it's shrinking. Just wait, wait, wait. Good girl, wait. Good girl, did you click? No, because she knows well enough that I don't need to click now. I know, but I like being able to click because. Good girl, look at her. Look at her staying out of Sylvie's space. Give her lots of treats. I know, I can't get this freaking thing undone. Look at her staying out of Sylvie's space. She keeps looking back because she's like, come on, come on with the treats. Good girl. What a good girl. But now I'm at her butt. Girl. Okay, walk up, walk up to her face and then. Okay. Look at her. I know your mouth is full. Click, Sophie. Because click, when you click, you can get it faster to show her what you want. But look at this pony learns so fast. I've always said that. She's gonna have like a big white V mark on her forehead. Okay, hold on. I wanna show them. Look at this! Other than her body is touching Sophie. She does like her body touching she's Sophie. Touching yeah, she's. All right, so now look at the two horses. Like, I think she's gonna be small. So like, obviously she still has two more years to grow. This is Willow's paw. I almost laid down. Oh no, that was really fun. I miss being down here. Like, we literally spent two days in the house. Okay, I gotta go or change Or doing now. other things. And it feels like we haven't seen our horses for days, even though we do chores every single day. We take care of them every single day. Who's that? Limbo! It's probably Willow. But unless we're like working with them, it feels like, I don't know, it feels like we've been away. But obviously, Honey's that? been missing her. Aw. It's, it's Willow. We didn't have a garden last year, but we had one two years ago. And this is the space where we had our garden. Uh, we still have some stuff up there where we planted our beans and our peas. And we're going to do that again. We're planting totally different things this time. Or like last time we had so many tomato plants and I don't want to do that again. And I want to kind of make it bigger. But I have some different plans for this garden. Last time it was really hard because it was all weeds here before and we kept getting a lot of wheat. <laughs> I'm just making her zigzag. I'm following Sophia. Gabby's following Sophia. It literally feels like it takes a year to get up to the house just because of the snow. I'm really excited for the time there's no snow though. Don't you know that you're beautiful?